the main trailer for season 2 of The Breed of Time has dropped. There is a ton to be excited about that was showcased within this action packed 2 minutes or so. But something stood out to me in a manner akin to that of the proverbial light bulb moment in a cartoon, which was that shot of Logan Abla. You might be asking, well, how does this once our resident sheep herder Randall for the Dragon Reborn? Now, the more I've thought about this shot, the more interesting this small and albeit brief interaction between these two have become for a multitude of reasons. Not least because this isn't a scene that we've read in the book series. Albeit it is one that is quite easy to imagine Robert Jordan would have written or at least thought about at some point in time. But it's more to do with the potentially far-reaching changes or if you want to call them consequences, this one small scene could have on the entire TV series and a certain character moving forward. And I'm talking about things that we haven't gotten anywhere near close to occurring on the TV series yet. Things that may not even now happen. Before we move forward, here's a spoiler warning for those of you watching that haven't finished the series. There's going to be spoilers on characters yet to be introduced if you haven't gotten to book for The Shadow Rising. And from that point onwards in this series, I'm going to be spoiling many things. So you have been warned. And the person I am talking about is Jacin Natal, or more commonly known as the Forsaken Asmodian. Rance, for a want of a better word, teacher who Lanfear has partially shielded so he can teach him all that he knows about Silin. Now, you may be thinking, well, hold on a second there. How in the hell does having Rand and Loghain having a scene that never occurred have an effect on whether Asmodian appears in the Wheel of Time TV series or not? Well, before moving forward, it is competition time. This will be running throughout the second season's run on Prime Video. And all you have to do to be in with the chance of winning is 1. Subscribe to the channel. 2. Like any of the videos throughout the second season's run. And 3. Of course, comment on the videos themselves. The grand prize will be an Ariel Burgess print of Rand, Matt and Perrin. And 3 runners up will receive a copy of the new UK version of the Eye of the World. Good luck to all of you involved. So you might be asking, well how does this one scene with Rand and Loghain have an impact on whether Asmodian appears in the TV series or not? Well, think about it for a minute. What was Asmodian's actual main purpose or plot point slash device in the book series? It was to use him to teach Rand all he knew about Saiyadin, while also allowing us as readers to believe in the fact that Rand could manage to channel all these intricate reefs he does so later in the series, while also becoming a worthy adversary in battle when he comes up against members of the Forsaken and of course eventually the Dark One. Now I'm not saying he's the main person he learns about Saiyadin from, that is of course Luz Ferrin who is nicely nestled away in his brain but that's for another video. Now do you see where my thought process has taken me and where I'm going with this? They can easily use Logan as a way of having a teacher this early on in the show instead of bringing in Asmodian at a later date because he's proven himself to be more than adequate in his use with the One Power. And with having to no doubt trim down on characters from the vast number that they have to choose from, this is potentially something that could happen. Now, I'm not saying that it will, but I'm saying it's a possibility and is definitely on the cards with this show. So really the question now is how big of an impact would losing the Forsaken Asmodian have on the Wheel of Time plot as a whole. Uh, now if we look at what he pretty much does within the Wheel of Time and kind of put a list on the screen now, it's somewhat of a varying degree in terms of important kind of things he does within his time in the Wheel of Time. 
Uh, at some points he's doing really important things within that particular moment in the story, such as his impact on uh, kind of, if you want to say, Rand's introduction to the Aeol and the clashes within the clans and of course the Shido and who they believe is the rightful Kara Khan. Uh, then he has other important roles such as of course with Rand and his battle within Ruridian and how he then eventually goes on to be Rand's teacher because of Lanfear partially shielding him so Rand can control him when he's trying to use the one power. And so you've got this varying list in terms of degrees of degrees of importance that he has. But what's really interesting to me when actually looking at this objectively, you can pretty much take everything he achieves within his time in the Wheel of Time and move them to other characters within the show or within the book series. So for example, the teacher role that Rand has with him, you can move to Loghain and that's the whole premise of this video. And now in the same way with everything he does with um, the Shido Aeol and his battle with Rand and Ruridian, all those plot points given um, Kulaudin or Kuladin the kind of dragon hands. Any of the other Forsaken can be given this role. Any of the male Forsaken, I should say, can be given this role. And so I think you could easily, with the introduction of Ishmael in the first season, you can easily move all of those points over to him. And even though it seems to be he's having a big degree of importance within how the um, Shaunchen are being positioned within this particular series. Who's to say he can't have already set things in motion in the third season or within the back end of the second season going into the third season, depending on what we're seeing and what we're getting from within the books. It's not that big of a imagination or jump to see that happening. And so that's why I feel... Losing Asmodian is not that big of an issue as everything he achieves, accomplishes and puts into motion is transferable to other characters. And then the second point is I think it further enhances Loghain as a character in the show. I think I would much rather have Alvaro Morte and his depiction of Loghain be around in the show in a lot more of a recurring theme. Now yes there are other aspects with Loghain and him being with Rand at this point in time. He is of course a former dragon or false dragon I should say and the Aes Sedai are no doubt going to be trying to look for him unless they make kind of subtle changes within what happens with the kind of rebellion within the tower. He can be looked at as being uh, found, not found dead, but missing, presumes dead, but he somehow makes his way to Rand and then Rand kind of hides him and uses him as his teacher with the one power. And then he can at a later point kind of be found out when we hopefully get the rebel uh, Aes Sedai group that Ed Green will of course be the Amalurian seat there. And he can then play his role in Nynaeve learning how to kind of um, heal male and female channelers of their stillness. And I think he can find his way to that point at a later date and time. And I think that will work itself out. That's what I think anyway. And then on top of that, just the dynamics between Rand and Loghain, this will add additional layers to that as I will get into now. So even after speaking about this all, it could still very well just be a standalone scene that the writers thought would be really cool to have in, you know, created for this second season because it's at a point in time where Rand is searching for an understanding of his powers. He's got, you can basically call the kind of yin and yang, the good guy, the bad guy on his shoulder from this one trailer. We have him with Lanfear, 
and then we have him with Loghain. I know you could say Loghain is kind of in the middle ground, but he's more towards the light, as we all know. Uh, so yeah, that's what I thought could potentially be happening there. So like I said, it could be a single scene, or they could expand it much more. And then there's another reason why I think that could be something interesting. Because of course, as we all know, Loghain eventually does become an Asherman in the Black Tower. And that is another point in place I wanted to make with regards to how this additional kind of relationship between Rand and Loghain could also have an impact on that particular branch if we ever make it that far into the series as a whole. Uh, it would be quite interesting to see how the dynamics would have shifted from this point in time if they decided to have Loghain be the teacher of Rand in a so to speak unofficial manner. And then of course by the time he becomes a Asher man and a member of the Black Tower, of course Rand is going to be fully established. He's going to basically have full control over the One Power and doesn't have a need for a teacher. And I think that could be just quite an interesting dynamic at play how they might be at this level here or Logan slightly above at this point in time even though Rand is the Dragon Reborn. And I'm talking in this particular up and down in terms of the level because of Loghain knowing a little bit more and having already conquered like Gieldan. So that's where I come of it. That's where I'm coming from with it right now. And then by the time of the kind of Black Tower being established, it's going to have a complete dynamic shift between the two relationships. Whereas Loghain was here and Rand was maybe here. It's now going to be Rand up here and Loghain here. So Rand takes a big dramatic leap forward in terms of his abilities, his confidence within his you know, role as the Dragon Reborn and all of that. So that could be another really interesting scene, thing to see down the line as well. So yeah, there you have it guys. That is the video. That's where my thought processes took me. Hope you've all enjoyed it. If you have, of course, do leave a comment down below. Uh, like the video as well if you've enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow when we get a brand new piece of content. What that is I do not know from uh, the Wheel of Time over on um, Twitter or Twitter X or X Twitter. I don't know what the fuck they're calling it these days. Anyway guys, I'll catch you all tomorrow. See ya.